Alright guys, huge announcement. So, we just added a new category to the store called Studio RBXM Imported uh, UI Products. So as you can see, this button set right here for $2, which you guys are going to be making in this video. But if you are a developer and you don't want to make this, you just want to buy the product for $2. Once you purchase it, you will get an RBXM file. So I'm going to open up Studio, head into an empty base plate. We're going to grab the RBXM and just drag and drop as you can see so here is the gui just just drag it into start a gui and as you can see you have all nine buttons set up for you right here so open it up as you guys can see so if you are a dev and you're interested be on the lookout we're going to have a lot more products coming soon so make sure you check out our store just imagine being able to buy an entire ui set import it for like 10 bucks yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video and uh yeah peace youtube welcome back to a brand new video and today i want to show you guys how to make a shiny sidebar ui like this right here um as you can see the buttons are pretty unique they look great and uh yeah i'm gonna show you guys how to make this so let's not waste any time let's get right into it first things first let's use the rounded rectangle tool right here uh, the radius let's try 15 all right so go to anywhere click and hold okay now hold shift and alt now we want to drag it out and as you can see this will make us a really nice shape now i'm going to double click right here we're going to choose a color and now i'm going to show you guys how i made these low uh effects so okay make a new layer right click on it and hit this button to create copy mask right here now we're going to take our pencil change our color to white make sure fill is on with this black box and stroke is off with this red slash now we're just going to go up top right here click right here okay now we're just going to click and drag here and click and drag like this circle around complete the shape go back to your move tool Okay, now hit Control Shift and H for horse, and Control T, and we can rotate this little shape we have. So now change the mode to overlay. Okay, now we use our eraser tool. So hit E on your keyboard, eraser right here. I'm just gonna click, hit OK to rasterize. Make sure your hardness is all the way down. Opacity is around 40. Flow is around 40. And now we could just, oops. Now we could just paint like that. All right. If you make a new layer, clip it back in. Now you can make the other shapes. So this one goes like this. Same thing. Eraser tool. Erase this one off the top like that. Go to overlay mode. New layer. Clip. And let's do one last shape that goes across. Uh, I got the color wrong, but it's fine. No problem. We could fix that super easily, as you can see. So now for uh, the sparkles, it's actually very simple. What you want to do is you want to take your random rectangle tool again, new layer. Color is gonna be white, and all you gotta do is you gotta make. This little shape, right? Hit Control J on your keyboard. Control T, right click and rotate 90. And now we're gonna group these up. And you see we have some nice little sparkles, just like that. You take your ellipse tool, make a new layer, and now we could also add some little dots everywhere. Just like that. So with this button, um, let's copy and paste it. So let's group everything up. Let's copy and paste. And here you can change the color very easily. Just double click and change the color. As you can see, we have a very nice shiny button like this. And let's go right here. And if you want to make the little thing in the back, it's very simple. Make a layer, make a layer uh, under everything. 
uh, 15 makes the color white and we're just going to drag a little kind of like that and as you can see that is pretty much it um thank you guys for watching also i think i'm gonna put this up as a product in the store so i'm gonna import this into into studio so i'm gonna make a bunch of a bunch of different color combos and um yeah for you guys to purchase this it's probably gonna be like two bucks <laughs> so yeah stay tuned for that i'm gonna be importing all the ui into studio for our store products so it's gonna be much easier for you guys who don't have photoshop so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like subscribe if you haven't and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next video